Hey you guys, I'm here playing Limbo. Um, I tried to adjust the audio to reduce the uh, buzzing noises that you guys are hearing. And so far it's just... I don't know what it is. I have to Google it to see if the people are, other people are having the same issue. So, anyways, here we are, playing Limbo. I'm gonna try and have this kid survive. So right now, waking up in the middle of the forest. It's all black and white. Kind of cool how the screen flickers a little bit. Like it's an old time movie. Oops, pardon. Stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't know what exactly the goal of the game is. I played a little bit before just to get controls down and to see just to see how the game is. So, it was two fifty on Steam on sale. And I heard nothing but good things about the, good things about the game. So here's to hoping that it's as good as everyone says. Can you see me? Two hundred. So yeah, so far what I have played of this game, it is awesome. Like, the controls respond perfectly. The puzzles are fun. The I stopped at one that might be hard for me because the type of puzzle that it is, I'm just not good at. Well, I'm not very good at platforming games anyway, so... That's not something. I'm hoping that this playthrough is short. I'm going to try and make the video shorter for this Let's Play. Like maybe 10 minutes each. Just going to get to one major point to the next. Right. I'm also going to try not like talk about things that I know are upcoming. Even though I stopped playing maybe 30 minutes into the game. Oh, that's just fantastic. Amazing. So, yeah, and I'll have to record some more Minecraft also today. So, I just, I took a break from that game, and I, coming back to it, it's just, I forgot how amazing it is. These type of games are awesome. This and Minecraft, and just like it, little independent games that doesn't take 30 hours to complete or 40 hours to complete. Even though I love games that are that long, like Skyrim, I've been playing that a lot. But the uh, it's really glitchy. And I know really glitchy and Bethesda just I don't know I think I might be done buying games from them because they just they need to learn to whoa <laughs> what was that <laughs> anyways they need to uh, test their games properly like Fallout at least for the uh, PS3 and stuff like that I heard it has game breaking glitches later on in the higher level. And especially for the DLC. Like the game was freeze and have to shut the console off and all that. And then I'm not sure if it was Fallout or I don't know. And anyway, New Vegas was broken pretty much when it was released. You had to download the patches just to make it playable. And, like, their games are good. Really good. Which is why 
it's even more frustrating that they don't test them properly. And I surprised I remember this. I don't even know what those are, maybe spider eggs or something. So yeah, I'm going to try and keep the spoilers down on this. And, you know, it's probably not a game that's going to be in my hair, but... Oh god. <laughs> I'm sure that was close to dying. I But yeah, like, Skyrim is an amazing game, might be one of my favorite games of the year, but only because I haven't encountered any game-breaking glitches or anything like that, because if, uh, hard to explain, I just am tired of games recently being so lax about testing it, making sure it's polished. Like Arkham, Arkham City, like really good game, got amazing reviews, but it has glitches where it deletes your saves. How in the world is that acceptable and how are game reviewers just overlooking that kind of stuff? Because I heard Skyrim does it also. It just amazes me that from bigger developers that are really in highly anticipated games, reviewers will just look past glitches like that. So, yeah, that's my little rant of this video. I could go on and on about stuff that's been making me angry lately. See, I just chopped off that spider's leg with a trap. Puzzles like that are so cool. And this boy's going to see the one I tried to do the last one. Come on, get out, get out. Come on, no! Retarded spider, why not just kill him right now? So just wrap him up and dangle him back from like three strands. Look at that. Weak. And then I escaped right away. That was tense. So yeah, I'm sorry if the audio is buzzing really loudly. I will fix it soon, one way or another. I'm not sure exactly how, but it'll happen. I might just have to mute the game audio or something like that. It would kind of suck because it wouldn't really be enjoyable to play. Run, get out of there. Play with uh, no audio, but it is what it is. This part's fun, though. Okay? Two D games like this are fun. Like Mario is super fun to me, although. I really suck so bad at those games. I'm gonna have to uh, upload some uh, NES gameplay for you guys. 
it'll be horrible if you want to suck at it, but yeah, it'll be fun. And I'm sure there's quite a bit of videos like that on here. But it'll be fun to do myself. Okay, we escaped the spider. Quite successful. Got a little bit of silk in my hair. So, alright, I'll end this episode here. And, yeah, we'll start from here next episode. Okay, bye.